During the first half of this fiscal year, Allergy Therapeutics has shown material progress on the three strategic pillars of its development. Our trading business has focused on our high-margin, ultra-short course vaccines. Our underlying portfolio is growing at mid-single digit amid a very tough environment. And thanks to our cost management systems, we have kept a good cash generation during the first six months. On the U.S. front, this year, we will start preparations to get into the U.S. market. Our pivotal phase three grass trial is on track following impressive results of our GRASS G309 study. The G306 study will be the base of our Polynex QuadroGRASS submission to the FDA. The product has the potential to reach peak sales of $300 to $400 million in the US market. Finally, we have also made good progress on our PNUD program. The study we have conducted with Imperial College London showed reassuring results and we are now ready to start clinical phase of the program following the acceptance of our R&D application by the FDA a few weeks ago. All in all, a very positive start of this pivotal year. We are looking forward to keep you posted on the progress of these exciting clinical developments. We've had sales in the first half of 2022 of 48.7 million. That was down 5% in constant terms from the prior year as we streamlined the portfolio to focus on our innovative products. However, on a like-for-like -like basis, we were up 4%. The Spanish market has particularly been strong in the last six months, uh, along with Netherlands and rest of world. Looking at the overall performance of the business, we had an operating profit of 12.5 million. That was down from last year, reflecting the streamlining of the portfolio. We finished the six month period with a uh, cash of 41.4 million. Um, that is enough to fund the GRASS, the pivotal GRASS phase three trial and the phase one peanut trial um, with some debt. Looking to our outlook for the full year, um, we expect to achieve the uh, market consensus for the operating profit pre R&D. Twenty twenty two is set to be a pivotal year for Allergy Therapeutics. Two of our lead candidates, uh, both VLP Peanut and PQ Grass, are entering the clinic. Um, we've got great data that we've already announced on the phase three, exploratory phase three study that we undertook uh, last year. Um, we saw a 40% improvement in combined symptom and medication score, the, the primary endpoint of the trial compared to placebo. This is an excellent result. This is, I am not aware of a trial that has uh, quite such a high level, a, a field trial that, that has reached that kind of level for allergen immunotherapy. So we have huge expectations and we are we are very positive about entering the G306 study, which is due to start in autumn this year, ready for the uh, pollen season of 2023. The results are due um, later in 2023 and should pave the way with the addition of a, of a safety database for a launch in the US and also a launch uh, in, in Europe. Um, regarding the VLP peanut candidate, we were very encouraged by the um, biomarker data that we received in collaboration with Imperial College London with Dr. Mohammed Shamji. Uh, we showed a 24 fold reduction in basophil activation. So what this means is the drug itself does not induce uh, an allergic reaction. And we're very much looking forward to the first in human, um, the, uh, the phase one trial that we've named PROTECT, which should uh, commence later this year, um, where we look at uh, multiple coho cohorts. Um, we're doing escalating doses in healthy adults, followed by skin prick testing, and then in peanut allergic adults. And the results of those studies should be due uh, in a, in a stepwise fashion um, towards the end of 2023. So very much looking forward to the, the, the future and 2022.